Well, you know, we do live in an age right now where everything is pretty much documented or posted on social media, so many of you might be hoping to get a perfect picture of today's eclipse. But just like your eyes, you need to protect your camera or your smartphone as well. CBS News Philadelphia's Jasmine Payute is at Unique Photo in Old City right now with more on how to capture the best picture today without hurting your eyes or your camera for that matter. Hi there, Jasmine. Good morning, Natasha. That's right. We've been talking all morning about the importance of not looking directly at the solar eclipse. And if you want to capture that moment and save it for later, this is the perfect place to figure out how to do that. Now, we're at Unique Photo here in Old City, as you mentioned. And joining me, Alexander Sweetwood, the president here. Now, Alexander has this really cool setup that pretty much goes through every way we could possibly see the eclipse and capture that moment. So first, we want to go with the smartphone, since that's what most people will probably be using to capture it and you have a little demonstration first tell us how exactly people can do that and why it's so important for them to remember to not look directly at the sun while taking that picture <laughs> thank you very much yeah I mentioned that to you multiple times I don't want anyone looking directly at the sun and that's why solar eclipse glasses which are, are very simple that are ISO certified will block essentially all of the light coming through so if you put those glasses on in a situation where there is no sun uh, you'll see it so this is a pretty good indicator of how to, how to see uh, what's going on here with the sun. As the sun comes through, uh, the glasses pretty much will block, pretty much will block that light. So um, that's where we're really looking at it. Now, people using a smartphone to take pictures of the solar eclipse, I recommend taking pictures of their family and friends mm -hmm. uh, watching the eclipse. But if you're going to use your phone, do not look directly at the sun. And you can attempt to do it with your phone. And on an iPhone, the best results you're going to achieve are by holding the phone up, blocking the sun. And if you tap on the phone once, you'll see a little square. Mm -hmm. You then want to push and hold on that square until you get like an autofocus, auto exposure yeah. lock. I mean, we did it on your phone, yeah, it wasn't long enough. You do it safely. Right. And yeah. then, of course, don't forget the glasses. So you can <laughs> attempt to put the glasses over the lens of the camera. Okay. And there's multiple lenses on a lot of the cameras. So you want to make sure you're using the correct lens okay. uh, prior to doing that. Okay, great. And we will definitely get more into that in our 930 half hour on CBS News Philadelphia streaming. But as, as Alexander mentioned, there is a way to do this correctly as far as capturing that moment whether on your iPhone or we'll, as we'll have coming up on a camera. So, Natasha, I'll send it back to you in the studio All right, for good now. Ad, good advice. Thank you, Jasmine. There are several places that you can go to watch today's eclipse. Morris Arboretum in Chestnut Hill is hosting an event, the Philadelphia Independence Visitor Center, also inviting folks to view the eclipse atop the Liberty View Terrace. And Villanova University is hosting an on-campus viewing party. We've got more events and more information. Go to our website, cbsphiladelphia.com.